Hello and welcome to another SEV1 training video. Today we're going to talk about LDAP authentication and how to add an LDAP server to your instance of SEV1. This is useful if you already have a domain environment and you'd like to add those groups of users to SEV1. After you add those groups of users to SEV1, you can then administer them through the roles and user administration. So what I have here is I have an instance of SEV1 up and I also have access to my Active Directory users and computers. First, what you're going to do is navigate to administration, access configuration, and then authentication settings. Click on LDAP, click on the actions drop down, click on new server, and here you're going to see the edit server window. So you need the IP of the server. And then leave the port as 389. And here you're going to need the base and bind distinguished names. So in order to get those, you're going to flip over to your server. And the base is going to be the domain here, as you can see, set one bin market local. Right click, click on properties. Go to the attribute editor, and here you can see the distinguished name. And if you double click on this, you can then just copy the text here, and then paste that into the SEP1 appliance. Next up, we're going to find the bind domain name, and that can be gained through, say you made a user for your LDAP connection specifically. We have LDAP bind here. We can right click on him, navigate to properties, go to the attribute editor once again, and then scroll to distinguish name. And here you can see it's a little more verbose than the other one, so you'll be able to tell the two apart. You're going to need the password for that account. Next, you need to populate the username field with lowercase s a m account name. and you can leave these as set, click save. Next, highlight the server, go to the drop down and click test settings. If you get a green bar up top, it's successful and it connected to your domain control. And then here, we're gonna come down to the synchronized roles pane, click on add groups, click the drop down, select the LDAP server that we created and in the search pane, type one space, and that'll display all the Active Directory groups that we have. So we're going to check the domain admins. And then from here you can see, if you click on the plus, it gives you an overview of all the domain admins that are in that group. Click add. And you close this window. Click save LDAP settings. Now in order to see the users and groups that you created, navigate to administration, hover over access configuration, click user role manager, and then expand these subsets. And here under LDAP, you can see the domain users, the domain admins, which we've created. From this screen, you can then set permissions, device and device groups access, and user and user roles access.